Fox. Fox News is investigating claims that host Eric Bowling sent an unsolicited photo of male genitalia in text messages to at least three colleagues, which the HuffPost reported on Friday. Citing a dozen sources, the HuffPost reported that the messages were sent several years ago and the women found them deeply upsetting and offensive. We were just informed of this late Friday afternoon via the Huffington Post inquiry and plan to investigate the matter, a Fox News spokesperson told The Wrap. Also read how Fox News specialists emerged as potent, youthful face of network in post-O'Reilly era. The HuffPost is not revealing the identities of Bolling's accusers, who confirmed they received the lewd photo. The site spoke with 14 anonymous sources for the story that still work at Fox News of Fox Business Network. Bolling's attorney, Michael J. Bow, issued the following statement to HuffPost. Mr. Bowling recalls no such inappropriate communications, does not believe he sent any such communications, and will vigorously pursue his legal remedies for any false and defamatory accusations that are made. Bowling, who co-hosts the Fox News Specialists, has been a prominent figure on the network for years. Earlier this year he was pulled off his former show, The Five, when it moved to prime time because network executives wanted a familiar face in the 5 p.m. E.T. time slot. Paired with Cat Tim for Nevin I.K. Williams, Specialists is, essentially, a new version of The Five. Also read former Fox News guest says she was sexually harassed by Roger Isles consultant Bowling is a former commodities trader who landed a TV gig at CNBC and joined Fox News in 2007. He is an outspoken supporter of President Trump and was widely speculated to be under consideration for a role in the administration. Those rumors were put to rest in June when he signed a multi-year extension at Fox News. Bowling regularly filled in as host of The O'Reilly Factor before the show was pulled off the air because of sexual harassment allegations against star Bill O'Reilly. Fox News late founding CEO Roger Isles stepped down last year amid a series of sexual harassment allegations. Co-President Bill Shine also left the network after being named in a variety of the lawsuits against Isles and O'Reilly, although Shine was never accused himself and denies all wrongdoing. The network has faced a variety of accusations and lawsuits since the Isles scandal initially surfaced but remains the must-watch network in cable news. The sudden ousting of Fox Sports President Jamie Horowitz and the suspension of Fox business host Charles Payne this week are the latest signs of a sea shift in the Murdoch-run entertainment giant in its response to allegations of sexual harassment and other questionable behavior by executives and on-air talent. Various July 6, 2016 Gretchen Carlson files lawsuit against Roger Isles Former Fox Friends anchor Gretchen Carlson filed a sexual harassment lawsuit against Isles, who denied her claims. Fox and Friends July 9, 2016 Six other women claim Isles harassed them Former Republican National Committee field advisor Kelly Boyle and model Marsha Callahan were among the six women who accused Isles of previous harassment. Ailes denied the claims. Getty Images July 19, 2016 Megan Kelly says she was sexually harassed by Ailes at an external law firm's investigation into the multiple claims against Isles. Then primetime host Megan Kelly told investigators that she had been harassed by Isles years ago. Kelly wrote in her memoir about talking to investigators about the allegations, Fox News July 21, 2016 Isles resigns Fox News announced that Isles had resigned as network chairman after two decades of dominating cable news, walking away with a $40 million severance package. Getty Images January 10, 2017 Bill O'Reilly settlement comes to light news surface that the O'Reilly Factor host had previously settled with Juliet Huddy, a Fox News employee who claimed he tried to derail her career after she rebuffed his romantic advances. Getty Images March 8, 2017 Fox News settles with Tamara and Holder Fox News paid former on-air contributor Tamara and Holder more than $2.5 million following allegations that Fox News Latino Vice President Francisco Cortez tried to coerce her into performing oral sex on him. Fox News Latino March 24, 2017 Fox News controller Judy Slater sacked Fox News has fired longtime controller Judy Slater after an internal investigation concluded she had engaged in a pattern of racist comments and behavior several of the employees later filed lawsuits against the network over the incidents. Fox News April 1, 2017 claims against O'Reilly settled for $13 million A New York Times investigation found that O'Reilly and Fox News had paid $13 million in total to five women who had worked or appeared on O'Reilly Factor over the years and made claims of sexual harassment or other inappropriate behavior.
Fox News April 3, 2017 Another lawsuit against Isles and Fox News Fox News contributor Julie Rojinski filed a lawsuit accusing Isles of sexually harassing her. She also alleged that Fox News co-president Bill Shine retaliated against her for making the claims. Ailes denied the allegations, and Shine declined to comment. Getty Images April 19, 2017 Fox News cuts ties with O'Reilly Fox News announced that O'Reilly would not return to the network following its external investigation into claims of sexual harassment. Twitter April 21, 2017 Debbie Schlussel claims Sean Hannity invited her to his hotel Former Fox News guest Debbie Schlussel claimed that primetime host Sean Hannity had once invited her back to his hotel after an event they attended, and that she was never invited back to Hannity's show after she rebuffed his advances. The host denied the claims. Schlussel later clarified that she did not consider the encounter to constitute sexual harassment. I thought he was weird and creepy, she told Law News. Getty Images April 24, 2017 Andrea Tarantos files her own lawsuit Andrea Tantaros, a former host of the Fox show The Five, filed a new lawsuit against Isles, Shine and other network executives, claiming that an extensive online harassment campaign had been waged against her. Fox News sought arbitration and called Tantaros not a victim but an opportunist. Various May 1, 2017 Bill Shine resigns following Rojinski and Taranto's lawsuit, Fox News announced that Shine was exiting the network. Getty Images May 19, 2017 Bob Beckel fired at Fox News Fox News fired the five co-host Bob Beckel after he was accused of making an insensitive remark to an African-American employee. Fox News Human Resources took less than 48 hours to investigate the incident and recommend dismissal, a network executive told The Wrap. Fox News June 19, 2017 Investigation by the State of New York to New York State Division on Human Rights launched an investigation into Fox News over her sexual harassment claims by former O'Reilly Factor guest commentator Wendy Walsh against O'Reilly, Walsh's attorney Lisa Bloom said. O'Reilly has denied Walsh's claims. Fox News July 3, 2017 Fox Sports fires Jamie Horowitz Yemi Horowitz was abruptly ousted from his position as president of Fox Sports National Networks amid allegations of sexual harassment against Horowitz, an individual familiar with the matter told the New York Times. Horowitz attorney denied any misconduct. Getty Images July 6, 2017 Fox Business suspends Charles Payne Charles Payne, the host of Fox Business Making Money, was suspended by the network due to an investigation over a three-year relationship with a married political analyst who appeared as a guest on Fox Business and Fox News, the Los Angeles Times reported. Payne denied allegations of sexual harassment, calling them an ugly lie. Fox The sudden ousting of Fox Sports President Jamie Horowitz and the suspension of Fox Business host Charles Payne this week are the latest signs of a sea shift in the Murdoch-run entertainment giant in its response to allegations of sexual harassment and other questionable behavior by executives and on-air talent.